So, you might be wondering, what makes a good Beyblade? Why do they spin? Why do they move? Why are they so expensive? Now you might say, why does it matter? <laughs> and, you're, and you're right, it doesn't. Okay, before we, you know, make a good Beyblade with icky physics stuff, um, let's just educate the people who, like, actually have lives. Alright, you guys might not know, but this right here, yeah, this is a Beyblade. It takes the revolutionary idea of a spinning top, but now it's in a bowl and you can sell it for a really high price. One Beyblade spins and knocks the other Beyblade out the fancy bowl, also known as a stadium. It wins. The parts of a Beyblade for Beyblade Burst are the energy layer, the forged disc, and the performance tip. But if you put that into Google Translate from geek to ooga booga caveman brain, you get hitty thingy on top, weighted middle thingy, and the I touch the floor and go kneel. Now if you just mush these things together, you get it, that's right, a bad expensive hobby that you can just plug into a physics project and pretend like it's cool. wondering, how does it spin? Because it's a top, yeah, but why does it spin? Because you, you spun it, you, you, shut Okay, okay, when you first use a launcher, a Beyblade is applied a force that lets it start to rotate. That, of course, then lands on the stadium and stays there due to gravity. Now, why does it stay in place to keep it spinning? This is because a centrifugal, 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 Centrifugal. Uh, this is because of centrifugal force. This makes the force of the spinning pull away from the Beyblade, making it perpendicular to the ground. So what if we know how it stays up? But what does spinning mean for the Beyblade? Never thought I'd say anything like that ever. <laughs> All right, well here are some things to keep in mind: friction, weight, and the other Beyblade. The more weight on a Beyblade, the more force it spins with, so it spins longer as well as hits harder. If most of the weight is on the outer rim of the Beyblade, it is farther away from the axis, giving it a stronger moment of inertia, meaning it takes more Beyblade to hit Beyblade hard. While most of the mass is on the inside, it will give the Beyblade more spin as it takes less force to rotate the Beyblade around. So in theory, the better Beyblade would be the one with the more weight on the inside, as the Beyblade would just spin faster. But if you've seen a Beyblade fight, the... 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 The rotational force with the gravity, friction to the apparatus of... They move. They move around. So, I know you guys have a burning question. Why, why does it move? Just, just go first. All right, so you guys know gravity? Yeah, that. That is pushing down on the Beyblade, including the edges. This makes the Beyblade tilt if it's not spinning fast enough, which then applies a torque to the torque to the ground. This is the force of a circle from the angle of the Beyblade, which is applied to the ground, making it move in whatever direction it's tilting. Well, you might be saying, well, isn't that stupid? Just keep as less friction as possible so it doesn't move around as much, and so it spins as long as possible. That's where you're wrong, and you're stupid, and I hate you. Alright, imagine you're walking down the street, nice and normal, pretty easy, but now imagine the street is ice and is completely covered in baby oil. You would slip and fall and wonder why you're walking on a street of ice with baby oil. This is because of the lack of friction. <laughs> that means if you have a rubber tip on a Beyblade, you have more friction, therefore you move faster because of the more applied torque. Wanna know what makes you a better Beyblade? Er, that, that's right, subscribing to the channel. If you do, I will find where you sleep at night. A great strategy for tests or for Beyblades is to um, just think about it logically and think about it how it would be like in the real world or like kind of how it would be like in the real world, like what happened if it changed. Now this can actually give you a great shot on the tests, because it pretty much lets you eliminate the answers until you find the right one, and, uh, Beyblade kids are here, um, and, and make, make you, make you win more Bay battles. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for watching, um, I'm literally recording this at 9.30, I've been wanting to play Valorant for so long now, please help.
yes, this was actually for a school project. Um, I'm submitting this for my AP Physics class, so that's fun. This is not my usual content at all. I usually do actually crazier stuff. I, it's hard to explain. There's Beyblades with toilets involved. Uh, just go look at my other videos if you want, and uh, okay, bye.